Hi, I'm Anthony from Learning to Play the Guitar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a funk rhythm guitar. Being able to play funk rhythm guitar is an essential skill for any modern versatile guitar player. Um, many artists that include sort of funk rhythm guitar include Bruno Mars, Daft Punk, James Brown, Jamiroquai, Michael Jackson, Prince, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, just to name a few. Just as in reggae music, the chords played in funk rhythm guitar are generally higher pitched chords played further up the neck. This helps to separate these chords from the bass, which is the main focus in funk music. The chords are actually created using the caged chord system. So here I'm going to show you an example very similar to Get Lucky by Daft Punk using four chords based on the caged chord system. So the first four chords we're going to deal with here, one is D, and so instead of being of course normal D, which is the triangle, we're going to play D major by barring across the first three strings of the seventh fret here, on my third dot up, my one finger there, but I also want to add my little finger here on fret 10 because that's a D note, so we've got just these three strings. So that's your D chord. Next up we've got B minor, and this is going to come from the B minor like or shape here on fret 7, but we're going to throw away these fingers and, and those three strings as well. It's going to do with the three treble strings, strings 3, 2 and 1, so that's easy as one finger. So we're from D to B, simple as that. Next one, F sharp minor. This is based on the F sharp minor bark or shape, which would normally be all the way up here on fret 9 for your first finger, and that particular shape there, but we're not going to do the whole thing. We're just going to deal with the bottom three strings, so just those three strings there. So frets 9, 10, 11 on strings 1, 2 and 3, just a diagonal three finger thing there. Simple as that. So just those three again of course. Then E major, which is going to be based on the E bar chord shape, this one up here on fret uh, 7 for the bass note, as you can see there from my nut on the dot. And we'd have three fingers going across here for a whole awkward bar chord play that way for E. But again we're going to throw away the bass notes and just now deal with first finger there on fret 7. Second finger stretching to fret 9 on the dot there on the G string or the third string, and then we're going to tuck out the second finger underneath there on fret 9, sorry, of the second on the B string, and 1, 2, 3. Again, so all just the same three strings, all just 1, 2, 3, or G, B, E strings for each chord. So with this strumming here, we want to be very careful that we don't hit these bass notes over here, otherwise it becomes very mushy, so you have to be very precise with your strumming. Um, you can do little tricks where you can mute the adjacent D string and see with the edge of my finger here, just touching the edge of it. If that helps, it's like an insurance policy so we don't have um, the D ringing out. We can sort of control it that way. But ultimately, it's all about the precision of your strumming here um, and making sure we're just dive bombing in on these three strings we want to hit only, not the any of these other ones which turn to mush. Sometimes leave it in my thumb up here as an insurance, but it's not really doing too much. So, with those four chords, we're going to deal with the rhythm of funk guitar. So what we're going to do here for this example is a 16th note type of rhythm where basically the strumming is just consistently down up 16th note, um, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a fast, consistent strumming patterns. And to break up the actual rhythm, all the action is actually over here with the fretting hand where we end up with a lot of dead strums in funk guitar where basically uh, the dead strum is where nothing rings out. And this is created, say if we just deal with the B minor shape, because it's nice and easy to, to work with on fret 7 here, the one finger one. Um, basically we have the B minor, that's the chord, but then if we want a dead strum, we would simply lift the finger off, depressurizing, and it becomes dead. So from this angle we can hopefully see, I'm going to pressurize and strum, lift off, dead. So. This is also used a bit in reggae music as well. Reggae guitar has a little bit of jazz drums as well sometimes. And it's a very big thing in funk guitar music, whether it's a chord or sometimes even single notes. A lot of funk bass too. There's a lot of muted plucking to sort of create that groovy, busy, funky rhythm. So with this element thrown in, the example here we're going to run through is basically where we're emphasizing pressure on um, the three of the count and the three and the four. So the count here with this rhythm, which I'll play in a second, is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So it's a little bit funny, but that's the idea of my down up strumming going. So I'll just do just on the B minor, just an example, and then I'll play the four chords all together, and you can see how it all 
grooves along. So one, two, three, and one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four. So it's a bit fiddly, but there's a lot of funk things that are like that using this sort of type of rhythm. And there's little variations on lots of these. So, but this one's slower. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So the trick is just to get this hand to be automatic. He's just up and down, and then it's all pressure on and off here. When I was saying three, I pressurize each time and three, four on the end of the bar. So I had a little music up there, hopefully, which will help you out a little bit. So now I'm going to do the example with the D, B minor, F sharp minor, and E chords. Three, and one, two. So you can hear that sort of funky groove thing going on, and it's just one guitar. It's, just, it's that consistency of the dead, the dead strums making it all drive and move along. So a, a lot of funk music also just uses one chord um, for, for long periods of time, mainly because funk music is more about the rhythm and the groove versus the chord changes that you would get more in a typical pop song. Um, so the master of that one chord funk was, of course, James Brown. And one of his big things that, that he did was live on the, on the ninth chord on the guitar, or often the E9, sometimes an E flat 9. But what we're going to do here is a James Brown type example using just the E9 chord, which is basically... Uh, a fancy dominant seventh chord. So first finger here on the sixth fret of the uh, D string, uh, second finger up here making the triangle on the seventh, third guy tucks in underneath, and then I can put your little finger under here on the uh, second string, which is the B string, and this is one way of doing it. I'll show you a few variations of this. And that's just, and this is also used a bit in jazz and blues, this chord. So that's your E9 chord. You can also lie a little finger down there, and that's another way of doing it. Or some guys just like to use their third finger to squish the, the GBE strings. That's quite fine too. And other variations as well, there's one or two more where you can throw the bass note away and some people just do four strings. So you don't always need the bass note there, especially if you've got a good bass player doing all the low end stuff for you. And then you can even do that with one, two, three, four fingers, so six fret. 7, 7, 7, just tucking in 3 there. So that's the ninth chord, or variations of the ninth chord. So for me, the sort of the stock standard is this with the little finger doing the double squash. So this E9 chord, um, we're going to do an example similar to the last one, where we're going to be a 16th note rhythm again, but we're going to now place the emphasis on the 1 in groups of 3, versus previously it was on the 3 in groups of 3.